now as we've been in this for two years, I would talk to Kim as a new principal of a new high school and seeing some of the things that have gone on here at Battle, new scoreboards, unbelievable facilities. You can see how some of the things have already paid off. Oh, definitely. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do still, though, is to educate our parents on um, what the benefits are of being part of Kelly Sports Properties, not just the things that you see around the building, um, but what are the things that are going to happen in our future, and how do we um, work together to support um, all the athletics, but also it has that um, positive impact on our classroom, too, and that um, we're able to take the money from Kelly Sports Properties and spend it on athletics so that we can take the money that's provided by our school district and really focus on programs to help kids be successful in school in the classroom. And, and another part that goes along with that is money is spread out to every single program and that is one of the real benefits of the whole Kelly Sports Properties agreement and initiative, isn't it? Right, and I think being a new school, um, we're, we're still in that infancy and trying to get everything established. And so the fact that Kelly Sports Properties has established um, some of that funding source for us really helps our parents um, get established um, and helps them um, get some seed money to continue to raise money to help our kids. Mark, let's talk to you a little bit about somebody who's been here kind of since the beginning of this. How have you seen the evolution in the couple of years that Kelly Sports Properties has taken over? Um, I would echo a lot of what's been said as far as there was a lot of unknown. It was a great idea. I thought there was a lot of positive to it. Uh, but what we found uh, all during last year in, uh, was that you couldn't communicate enough and to reinforce all of the benefits that we were getting. So I, I completely understand where Kim is um, trying to get the, the Battle High School started and running. Um, and then trying to understand how the money's coming in because it was brand new, uh, obviously for Hickman and Rockbridge uh, last year, but also really brand new in, in even the concept. Um, I don't know of another high school um, or district that's going through this, so it was a lot about communicating and even, I will say personally, I had some uh, things that I wasn't real clear on, so <clears throat> it was important for us to continue to ask questions and continue to bring that um, feedback back to our community but um, it's been very beneficial you know we have um, increase in our we updated scoreboards which uh, were I don't think so but pretty close to original at Rockbridge um, and starting to see a lot of benefits and I I know that our coaches are ready to um, start seeing that get into their accounts and um, really support them uh, as they look at it individually and they're not having to go out and solicit um, for all of the money that they used to and, and they're looking forward to that to be able to focus more on coaching rather than uh, raising money. Shell, have you been surprised already what you've seen? Um, I don't know necessarily if it's been surprised. I think it's been uh, pleasantly pleased um, with how things have gone and, and the fact that we have such a supportive community who's been willing to come on board and not just support financially through um, the advertising portion of it, but also to provide academic support for a lot of our programs. It's brought um, new businesses to become partners with our school, um, to be able to um, participate in activities just like we were talking about with the career days and um, with support within the classroom and volunteering in our buildings. Um, so those are some great positive things and we hope that only continues to grow. Is that one thing that was maybe way back when a hard thing because everybody said, oh, this is all money for sports? Um, I think initially, um, and, and I think we really had to work on having those conversations with businesses that yes, while there is a financial commitment involved that will go toward the athletic or um, extracurricular activities, there's also an academic connection that can be made through support through the classroom. And Kim, as, this, as the new school on the block, I'm sure you've heard this from parents as well, uh, keep us informed, right? Yeah, most, most definitely. Anytime you go through change or anytime you start something new, communication is the key to success. Um, and so we just try to keep our website up to date, um, try to um, get out front and have coaching meetings um, with our parents so that our parents get to know um, and start building relationships with the coaches that they have. Um, and the thing that we're trying to do here at Battle is really about building partnerships and that we're not out competing against each other, 
I feel like our booster club and our PTA that one kind of supports the academics and one kind of supports the athletics, sometimes they compete against each other um, for resources. Um, and I think that um, KSP has helped us work together um, as a school district so that we're not all competing against each other for the same finite amount of money that is out there in our community and the people that are willing to support us in making our programs outstanding for our kids.